Sun Peak Jr. for the Intermountain Sports Network bringing you a big Floyd County Conference game here at South Floyd High School tonight between Betsy Lane Bobcats and the South Floyd Raiders. I want to walk over here with the time I have and try to interview two fabulous coaches here in Floyd County, Barry Hall of South Floyd and Junior Newsom, the retiree like myself of uh, high school basketball in Betsy Lane. Coach Hall, would you come here please a minute? I'll get Junior in just a second. You're on candy camera, see right up there? Oh yeah, I feel like it. <laughs> You've been on it several times in the past, so you're an old experienced uh, uh, performer now. Maybe too many times on it. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, I want to talk to you briefly about your ball club. It's early in the season, and I know you've had some ups and downs already, but uh, we still think your team has a lot of potential. Well, potential is one thing, getting it out of is another. We're not, we're, not, uh, we're not close to where we want to be, of course. Uh, Disappointing loss of night. Disappointing loss up here against Johnson Central. I thought we just laid down. We're not really. Uh, we've got some new players, and we've not even close to coming together. I think we'll be better in January. Uh, we may take some lumps here, but I believe we will get better, and that's that's what you want. Uh, I think probably in, in this district, Betsy Lane looks pretty good. I haven't seen Prestonburg or Allen Central play, uh, but we we've got some potential. Uh, what areas do you think you're going to be able to improve in? Well, we have to improve in our defense. Uh, I know you don't want me to play that 2-3, but uh, I, I guess I got used to it. Those teams that went to the state for me uh, back in 5 and 6. But uh, th This group just doesn't pick up real quick on the defensive end. They let people slide by, and that, that pretty well drives me crazy. Uh, uh, we just we got lost. Well, particularly since you were a good defensive player yourself, I know it must be tough on you. Well, you said I was. I don't know if I was or not. <laughs> well, you were. That was a good defensive team, 68 ball club. Good, good team all the way around at McDowell. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun playing on those teams. Well, what do you expect tonight? Now, really, uh, do you have a game plan that, that you can adjust to Betsy Lane, or what do you think you have to do to beat this ball club? Well, I think we have to handle the ball against their press. Uh, I think they'll man us, and, and we try to run the motion offense. Uh, we've got to move on it instead of just one player dribbling and, and the other guys getting uh, where they just stay around. It, it's it's something that everybody has to be moving, and uh, unfortunately, uh, they, uh, some of them's not doing it yet. But like I said, uh, we're still a little bit young. Uh, we have to hit the boards and, and rebound. And, Inside, we got to play better. Uh, Turner had a good game the other night for us. He had about 14 boards over at Jackson City. Uh, but we, we just uh, started away. We can't have our, our, other than that, we can't have our guards leading us in rebounding sometimes. Well, Coach, we wish you best of luck. It's a long season, and I know you got everything in your mind, what you got to do to improve, and I, and I believe you will. I believe your boys have good potential. Well, I hope so. We'll, we'll work at it and keep working and not give up. And, uh, like I said, I think when January rolls around, you see a little different team than what you've seen early. I got to brag on my ex-point guard of 68. <laughs> he was a terrific point guard, and I am trying to get him to play the 1-3-1 a little bit because he could play that 1-3-1, that team could. And, and uh, as you said, coming on defense, whatever defense you use, if they'll come on defense uh, and improve quite a bit, I believe that'll help your team 15, 20 points. Yeah, you got to have the heart to play it. If you don't have the heart, you're in trouble. Okay, thanks, Colt. Thank you. Good luck to you. I'm going to go over here to another retiree. I think the people betting they know all about him. It's Junior Newsom. He's about as old as I am, and he's over here uh, trying to complete his strategy, uh, complete his strategy uh, on how to beat these Raiders tonight. And I, I just want to tell everybody, as, as one retiree to another, Coach, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing okay. How about you, Pete? <laughs> I'm doing fine, I tell you. It's a little different atmosphere, but uh, I, I'm a, I was shell-shocked for a while. I couldn't believe it myself. It's a little adju uh, adjustment in it. It really is, yeah. But, but uh, you know, when you've uh, had the experience we've had, you can adjust pretty good sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely, Jr. Well, how's your ball team doing? I saw uh, you had a disappointing loss over at North Central, but they're pretty tough over there, aren't they? Well, it wasn't disappointing. We played pretty good. Uh, 
played as good a half as we played all year or ever played for that matter, but they're not, they're a nice ball club and they got a veteran coach over there. You know, Dave Fraley is back over there now. He's won a state championship and he's got them playing top notch ball right now. And of course, they had all those kids coming back and all that experience, you know, the Stampers and the Coxes. And they're always going to be tough in Knox County, though, no matter who's yeah, there. Well, those are two good basketball players, oh, too. Yeah. yeah, two of the best in the state. Yeah. Well, now, we saw your team the other night play against Allen Central. You went nine or ten deep, and it seems like, uh, J.R., that you have some uh, really good potential uh, playing so many boys, and I'm sure that you'll uh, figure out the five good ones there by March anyway, and you'll have a good bench by then, the way you're playing now, the way I see it. Well, we try to get, uh, you know, uh, uh, if, you, if you have competitive practices, and that, that's going to make your team better, you know, day in and day out, and game in and game out, and that's what we try to get from these kids and try to... Uh, emphasize to them that if they work hard in practice and now they're going not only going to make themselves better they're going to make the team better and that's that's uh we hope that's going to pay off for us with nine or ten players like you're rotating in and out uh, how do you pick your starting five through practice sessions uh mainly through practice sessions yeah we chart them and then uh and you know through uh, mainly observation you know we we tell our kids you know the best way to beat a guy out is to make him look bad in practice so that, that creates a little competition in itself there, and uh, that can uh, make you give that little extra effort sometimes. Absolutely. I always kept, when I coached JR like you, I, I kept the door open for, for starters. And if, uh, I mean, it wasn't in concrete that you had to start. Exactly. Anybody could beat anybody out. A freshman could beat a senior out, as a matter of fact. Exactly. You know, last year we had to experiment. Of course, it's my first year back, and we had to get had to get to know the kids, they had to get to know me, and we changed their lineups, you know, several times last year, and, and that could happen again this year also. Uh, where do you go after tonight? This is a conference game. What's your schedule next week before Christmas? Uh, we've only got one game next week. We've got uh, Morgan County at home on Tuesday night. The following Tuesday, we got Shelby Valley. Uh, then we go to the PIT. We got uh, Woodford County, Letcher County Central, and Lawrence County in the PIT. So we got a work cut out for us. <laughs> I say you yeah. have. But, but really, uh, quickly, I know you have to go into the dressing room. Uh, how do you see the region? I know I know it's early yet, but say it's a preseason selection. How will you rank the first three or four teams in the boys' division here in the 15th region? Well, you take Shelby Valley out of it, and the rest of us can play with each other. Okay, good. Good observation. Thank you. J.R. Newsom, good luck to you, J.R. All right, two fine coaches here in Floyd County doing a great job getting their teams ready for the game tonight. We expect to see a fine basketball, Larry. What do you think about that? He's giving me the nod. So let's take it back up to the booth, two of my partners here on television. All right, it's 46 minutes and 40 seconds to go before the tip off of this second game between the uh, South Floyd Raiders and Betsy Lane. South Floyd coming into the Knights game one and two on the year. Betsy Lane three and one. Betsy Lane one and zero in the district and South Floyd their first district contest. So we'll send it back to the station. Be back for the tip off. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a worker's compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. Forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at just $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text. Add 3 gigabyte of data for only $29.99 a month. 6 gigabyte of data, $39.99. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Only $89.99, which has 50 gigabytes of high-speed data. All the features without the long-term commitment. It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Okay. Five. All right, we're back here at South Floyd High School on Left Beaver Creek. The game coming up is the Floyd County Conference game between Betsy Lane and South Floyd High School. 
two Floyd County teams uh, fighting for uh, seed number one in the district tournament. With that, ready for the announcements of the starting lineups, my old sidekick here. Larry, take it away. All righty, thank you, Pete. Betsy Lane coming in tonight's game three and one on the year. And uh, coming off a loss over at Knott County Central, which that's no disgrace. They've got two of the better players in the state. South Floyd coming in one and two. And Betsy Lane will start number one, Nathan Martin. Number uh, 11, Derek Tackett. Number 23, Bryce Atkins. Number 35, Casey Atkins. And number 44 would be Jordan Newman. Betsy Lane coached by Coach Junior Newsom. Bobcats are 1-0 and in the district so far. This would be South Floyd's first district game. South Floyd's coached by Barry Hall. Barry X Daredevil mine. Yep. Played on a really good ball club back in uh, 1968. 34-5, and I think, was the record. And looks like they're going to start number two, Dakota Hall. Number three, Dakota Newsom. How many Dakotas you say we got on got this? Got three thing? Dakotas on there. Number 23, a sophomore, Brandon Marson. That's the son of Joe Marson, the principal. Right. And number 33, a junior, Shannon Turner. And number 44, 6'6", six, six, senior Corey Page playing center. So that's the starting lineup for tonight's game. Just as I said, Coach Junior Newsom for Betts Lane and Barry Hall for South Floyd. And here to do the play-by-play -play is Pete Grigsby, my old Thanks, sidekick. Larry. Absolutely, Larry. Boy, we're getting... We're getting to know each other pretty good now, aren't we? Ken said that we had to be the A team tonight because we're the only ones out here. Oh. <laughs> Boy, wait till we get it. Wait, I see him. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Hall will toss the ball up. He's one of the referees. We've, I've seen him every game I've uh, called for the station. I, I believe he might be one of the only ones they've got, ain't he? He's everywhere like Santa Claus, ain't he? Yeah. <laughs> Talking about Santa Claus, you see my tie tonight? My I see tie. that. My wife put that on me tonight. Well, she's done well. Yes, she has. I'm telling you, nice tie. <clears throat> well, there's Newman running against, uh, against Turner on the tap, and Turner taps it over to the left side of the Dakota Hall. He misses it. Picked up by Betsy Lane. That's Bryce Atkins. We've got two Atkins on the ball club. We've got Tackett at guard, and there's... Uh, a uh, three-pointer by Bryce. Was that a two or three? A three, yes, Three it was. by Bryce Atkins. Nice shot. He was well guarded at that time. Full court pressured. Ball thrown away. Intercepted by Betsy Lane. In the corner, Martin for three. He missed it. We got a whistle on the outside. What? I, I think it's going to be on uh, Marson uh, on the three-point shot. That's who it is. And Nathan Martin goes to the line to shoot three. I know Coach Hall wouldn't like a foul like that. That's a la Tubby Smith. You remember how Kentucky used to foul on three-point shots? It happened every game, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Martin hits his first. He's got two more. 7.34 to go. Nathan Martin, longtime starter for the Bobcats. Nails the second one. Big fast start here in just less than half a minute. They got five points on the board. Both of these teams, young teams, uh, Pete, uh, starting a lot of uh, sophomores and juniors. Nathan Martin hits all three of them, six to nothing in backcourt. Here's Marson. Looking over that double team down that goes to Turner, and he funnels it, but it bounces off ahead of Bryce Atkins out of bounds, <laughs> so it's back to South Floyd. Bryce yeah. thought he was playing soccer there, wasn't he? We had a fumble and a soccer putt. And it's back to South Floyd. Here's Marson on the near sideline. Gets it out to uh, Dakota Newsom at the point. Newsom throws it over to uh, 
Marson. Marson at the point now. Betsy Lane in the man to man defense. Turner outside, top of key, long three, missing. Inside rebound by Martins, Betsy Lane. He comes streaking out of there, power driving down the court. He goes to Newman, wide open, and lays it in for left hand. Nobody got back on defense for South Floyd, so Coach Barry Hall wants a timeout. It's eight to nothing. And uh, with that timeout, uh, Larry, what do you want to do? Send it back to the station or what? That's just going to be a 30 second timeout. So let's go over these uh, sponsors for the uh, high school basketball season for 09 and uh, 2010. We've got Craig Dameron Furniture, the Kitchen Center, Charlie Pinson Insurance, Pikeville College, Microtech Internet and Security, State Representative W. Keith Hall, Intermountain Cable. Appalachian Wireless, Attorney Ira Branham, and Hilton Sales and Rentals. And we'd like to thank all those fine sponsors for making all this possible for us and the people in radio and TV land. Absolutely. Though those people are good people to sponsor to help these uh, youngsters get publicity. There's a pass deflected, intercepted by Tackett, Betsy Lane in the backcourt on that pressure defense. Here's Atkins. Over to Nathan Martin, the right wing, he fakes, drives in the lane, puts it up, and misses the easy one, and Turner on the rebound. Here's Marson. In front court for the Raiders. Betsy Lane still on that man-to-man -man defense. Bryce Atkins on Marson. Over to Newsom. Newsom fakes, drives, gives inside to Turner. Turner tries to go up in the lane, and he is fouled. Turner had 36 points the other night, uh, Tuesday night. He's only a junior. And I think uh, that fouls on number 23, Bryce Atkins. I think Coach Barry Hall said he had 14 rebounds, too, so a big game for him. Yes. Double-double. He, he can play outside, too, as well as inside, so he's shown his versatility already. Playing outside, he went inside to get that foul shot, and he knocked down the first of two, eight to one. And he misses the second one, rebounded by Bryce Atkins. He gets it out to Tackett. Tackett streaks down uh, back to uh, Bryce. He misses. Long rebound to Newsom. Newsom driving down the court and loses it. Bryce Atkins picks his pocket from behind, and he takes the ball across the mid-stripe. All in one movement. Tackett. Right side, it goes to Newman. Back to Tackett. Goes into foul lane. Gives it to Newman. In the corner for three. Missing. On the rebound is Martin. He goes up strong for that rebound. Here's Tackett driving into the baseline, back out over to Newman. Newman to Atkins, inside it goes to uh, Casey Atkins, he fumbles it. Ball picked up by South Floyd, driving all the way down the court is uh, Hall. Dakota Hall. Hall. Dakota had 18 points the other night in that game against Jackson. We got a turnover call on Tackett for palming the ball. Only two players at Jackson City for South Floyd the other night, 36 for Turner and 18 for Dakota Hall. And Turner is the son of uh, Brian Turner and Jerry Turner. Brian played for the Daredevils long ago. A line of long turners that played for McDowell. Number 32, that's Wes Light in the lineup for the Raiders. Well guarded, good defense by Betsy Lane so far. There's a steal by Newman. Newman loses though, loses back to South Floyd. Marson, Marson inside it goes. To Turner, Turner powers it up and in. He's about 6'6", 6'5", six, 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 or 6'6", six, six, and he can play inside as well as outside. Here's Bryce Atkins. Gives it to Martin. Left wing penetrates. In the corner, wide open is Newman for three. In and out, no good. Rebound by Page. Page is about 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, she gives it to Marson, playing the point. Turner's outside now, Larry. He knows he plays all over the court. He inside, does. Outside. Yep. And here's Turner for three from the left wing, missing. Rebounded by Bryce Atkins. Oh, Bryce is all over the floor tonight for Betsy Lane. Good defensive player, hustle. Handles ball well, driving in the lane. Season opening, drives up and in and scores. Nice drive by Bryce Atkins. That's five for him so far tonight. Boy, he split the seam that time, didn't he? Yes, he did. Backcourt, Marson almost loses it, and he does travel. Yep. 
That's four turnovers, Betsy Lane's forced already on South Ford. Of course, Betsy Lane's got three herself. 10 to five, 358 to play in the first quarter here at South Floyd High School. Bobcats on top of the Raiders. Newman in the left corner looking inside. He hits Bryce Atkins streaking through the lane. He pulls it out to the left side. Out front now, well guarded by Marson. Packett drives into the lane, kicks it over to the new, uh, for three to uh, Martin. Martin. Good dish out for uh, Tackett. Penetrated, opened up outside and gave it to Martin, and Martin knocked it down. That's that part of that dribble drive offense. There's Page inside, put it off the glass for two. Here's Tackett, streaking down the court quickly to the Atkins. He puts it up for five footer, good. Nice movement by Tackett of the ball down court. Sort of like a John Wall way he moves the ball. Here's Dakota Hall, double team, but gives it out. Back to Dakota for three, missing. Rebound fought for underneath. Nathan Martin has it. Power drives it down the court. Gets it Bryce Atkins for two. He goes into the lane, gives it to Newman. Newman's back outside with the ball, leading 15 to seven. 2.50 to go. Nathan Martin fakes. Dakota Hall picks his pocket, slaps it to the floor, scramble for it. Martin picks it up, drives to the hoop, spin move, up and under. A great move, but misses. Page rebounds it. Gives it to Dakota Hall. Down the court it goes, driving to the hoop is number 32. His shot is blocked by Newman. Newman loses it to Dakota Hall. Dakota puts it up with the left hand, and he's fouled. A lot of action, Pete. A lot of action. Wes Light is in there. Sub Who did he come in for? I didn't catch that a while ago. That was number 32, uh, Wes Light. And he's in for Tommy Joe Hall. Dakota had 18 points the other night at Jackson City. Played last year, and he knocks down the first to two. Uh, both these uh, teams have players back from last year. Some experience. Newsom back into the game. For South Floyd, as uh, Hall makes both foul shots. 15 to 9, 224 to play. It's basically in the front court. Bryce Atkins drives in the lane, throws a no look pass away. Yeah, he, he thought the Atkins was going to break across the lane, and uh, that's five turnovers for Betsy Lane. Wasn't anybody there to get that pass except the cheerleaders? Nobody but the cheerleaders. Absolutely. I think they fumbled it, didn't they? That's not the right one, is it? Nope. Marson, they break the pressure. Underneath open is Turner. His shot was partially blocked. They worked the ball against that press really well that time. Here's Tackett in front court quickly to Atkins. Newman drives in, cut off. Tackett goes into the lane, won't shoot. Gets it back outside to Bryce Atkins. He gets to Newman on baseline. Newman drives under with the left hand and scores. Boy, beautiful move as Newman split two defenders and laid that up left-handed. Here's Dakota Hall breaking pressure, driving with the left hand, and he scoops it. Nice fundamentals by these ball players tonight, using the left hand when they need to, even though they're right-handed. Here's Bryce Atkins in the lane. Nathan Martin driving into the lane, cut off, loses the ball. Ball's on the floor, picked up by Bryce Atkins. He's everywhere. Over to Atkins. To attack it, takes a 15-foot jumper and knocks it in. First shot he's taking tonight, and he makes it. It's 19 to 11, minute 19 to play. We got a timeout or what's going on? Junior Newsom. What's the call? I don't know. Give, I think he was pointing to 32 uh, for Betsy Lane. That's Atkins and give him some kind of warning or something. I mean 35, not 32. Let's give him some kind of warning. Might have tipped the ball after the bucket or something. Yeah, Casey Atkins interfering, I guess, with the, with the South Floyd's offensive play. In backcourt is light. Light gives it over to uh, Marson. Marson cross court to go to Dakota Hall for three from the left side. It's a beautiful shot. Knocks the bottom out. Nothing but net. That's Dakota Newsom. Was that Newsom that time? Yeah. Okay. We got so many Dakotas, I'm getting them mixed up. Here we go. Casey Atkins inside. Newman, top of key for three. He misses. Rebounded by Dakota Hall. I got this one right. Turner for three from the left wing. He misses. Fight for rebound, Bryce Atkins comes away, streaking down the right side. 15-foot jumper from the right of the key, no good. 
Turner rebounds, a strong rebound that time. 19 to 14, 30 seconds to play in the first quarter. A lot of action in this game. Dakota Hall drives, reach in foul by Casey Atkins, I believe. Yep. That's his first team's third. Burke coming in for South Floyd. And uh, going out of the game uh, is Marson. Burke. Passing outside, it goes to Light. Light gives it to Dakota Hall. He drives in, all kinds of contact, throws it up off balance and scores. What a shot. Well, it looked like he lowered that shoulder that time, didn't it? Yeah, it looked like a halfback run, run through left tackle. Here we go. Losing the ball. And then it's hurt over by Betsy Lane, picked up by Turner. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. Dakota Hall spins in the lane, puts it up at the buzzer and misses. Well, what an exciting, well played, fast played, hot tempo. It wasn't high tempo, it was hot tempo. Hot tempo. With 19 to 16 lead for Benson Lane over South Floyd here at South Floyd High School. We'll take the station and be right back for our second quarter action. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. Smile, girl. Act like you like each other. This is our Chicago. Stop! We're gonna enjoy every minute of it. You two come in or what? Hey, wake up, brother. It is payback time. It's bigger than the two of us now. You gotta decide for yourself who you gonna be. The Bellator K has landed! My family means everything and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24 seven monitoring. We control our system from anywhere and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit gearheartsecurity.com to learn more. We're back here at Raider Arena on the campus of South Floyd. Betsy Lane and South Floyd playing end of one. Betsy Lane leading 19-16. A lot of action up and down the floor, Pete. Uh, Three-pointers, free throw line, layups. Good defense. South Floyd on the attack now. Start of the second quarter in front court. Turner has it. Tries to drive into the lane and loses the ball. Ball was slapped from behind. Must have hit his foot out of bounds. Yeah, he kicked it out of bounds. Betsy Lane's ball in backcourt. Full court pressure now, 2 2 1 by the Raiders. Betsy Lane breaks the pressure, moving in the middle from Tackett, drives in, loses control, picked up by Turner. Turn over Betsy Lane. Turner down quickly to Dakota Hall. He loses it. Out of bounds. It looks like number five, Adam Howe, has checked into the lineup for Betts Lane during that time now. And now we have Steven Johnson coming into the lineup. A couple new players for Betsy Lane. Here's Tackett facing a 2 3 zone of South Floyd. Tackett over to Martin. Inside, Bryce Atkins, uh, Casey Atkins puts it up missing. Dakota Hall on the rebound. Dakota out front. Over it goes to Newsom. Newsom well guarded, but tack it. Gives it outside Dakota Hall at the point now. Man to man defense from Bench State. In the post it goes to Turner. Turner tries to spin. What's the call? Jump ball. And that'll go to Betsy Lane. Would nope. that be considered a turnover? Jump ball on the shot and it goes over to the other team. You, yeah, I think you lose it is. possession. I, it is. It's a turnover. You're right, Larry. Here's Bryce Atkins at the point facing that zone defense. Right wing it goes inside. And on baseline to Casey Atkins from number 12. That says Johnson made a nice pass. High post, low post. Here's the turnover again. Base lane intercepting. Martin has it. Moves under. Misses. Turn on the rebound. Another turnover for South Floyd. And there's another bad pass. Another turnover. Picked up by Bryce Atkins. He drives. Baseline jumper 
no good by Bessling as Dakota Hall on the board. Both teams went cold at once. Hall to Newsom for three from the right side, short. Rebound, there's Bryce Atkins on the board. Boy, he's a bundle of injury tonight, isn't he? Long three from the left side by Adam Howe for Betsy Main, 24-16. Here's Dakota driving all the way. He found the opening and went to the hoop and scores. And fouled. Well, you give Dakota Hall half a chance that he'll penetrate, won't he? He will. He likes to penetrate and take the ball to the hoop. I think both teams are kind of playing that matador defense right now, ain't they? Matador. <laughs> Just waving them by. <laughs> well, it certainly is a hot tempo game right now. Both teams racing up and down the court, trying to play defense, but the offense is a little ahead of them, I think. Here's Hall making a three point play, they say, the old fashioned way. He's already got 11 points tonight, 11 of the 19 for South Floyd. Here's Hal losing the ball, turnover, and streaking down the court on that save is light. South Floyd within three again. In front court. Atkins baseline to Newman. Back it goes to Hal for three, and he nails it from the right wing. Boy, that's coming off the bench firing, isn't he? He's a good three-point shooter. He does it all the time. South Floyd in front court. Streaking to light. Nice pass from the goal to hold. Got behind the defense and scored an easy layup. Nice pass, though. Good look. You can see that he's seen the light bit in that time, huh? <laughs> That's a good one. I tell you, he saw the light. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's Bryce Atkins for three from outside the right wing. Boy, I tell you, Betsy Lane's shooting threes and trading twos for South Floyd. Here's Dakota Hall driving two hoops. Spin move, layup, scoop shot, easy two. Full court pressure. Here's Newman breaking it. Across the center line he goes. And wow. all right, yep. I knew what that was going to be when Mike Hall blew the whistle. It had to be a turnover. <laughs> yeah. No question about it. Yeah. That's nine for Betsy Lane, nine for South Floyd. Pretty even game. Uh, South Floyd seven rebounds, Betsy Lane eight. Five points separating them on the scoreboard. They call the Hall out front, gives it to Newsom. Newsom well guarded, bounce pass to Marson. Marson puts a, a shot, I tell no, you. They, they're going to wave it off. They said off he walked Trevor. before he shot it. My, what a shot. Off balance, falling away over his head, about 15-foot bank shot. That would give him one point on that anyway, had not Absolutely, a shot like that. Missing, bits of lane. And a tap in Benson Lane misses. That's Bryce Atkins. The missing on the tap in was Casey Atkins, but it finally goes to South Floyd. Marson runs it across, takes the screen, goes into traffic, double team, can't get it away. Now he throws it uh, to Turner, and Turner's fouled from behind. That's going to be on Newman, number 44. That's his second team's fifth. South Floyd on, with only one foul so far, Pete. Nathan Martin back in the lineup for uh, number 12. That's uh, Johnson goes out. Here's Marson. Throws the ball in the backcourt. It's touched, and it goes in the backcourt. <laughs> oh, well. The, ref, the boys were calling that. Turner in the corner for three from Dakota Hall. Well, that there's an unforced turnover. Newman throws it away over to the other referee. Nobody's there but the referee, so... JR is, is trying to get control of things. He calls a timeout. It's going to be a 30 second timeout. We just keep it here. I uh, think that was a good call, a good no call, because the rule book says when you bring it in out of bounds, there's no front court and back court until a team throws it in and has possession. Okay. The ball was tipped, but he, what, he didn't have possession. He goes in the back court and he picks it up, so I think that's a good call. Even though it's the same, uh, same uh, right. team, same team player yeah. on offense. Okay, got you. Of course, you know the fans; they don't. Uh, ain't too many of them has rule books. Well, the players, that's the name was called. It well, too. yeah. <laughs> of course, those players is going to get everything they can get out of those officials out there, right? I'll tell you what, they're talking to you in a in a 
uh, lobbying for something the whole night. <laughs> Doing some some of her own action, uh, acting, you, acting some action, uh, you know, like uh, uh, charges and blocks and stuff like that. Here's South Floyd. Marson underneath his own basket on her offense end, throws it way outside to Newsom. Newsom, high post that goes back to Marson. Marson uh, dribbles to the hoop, puts it up. No good. Turner on the board, puts it up and in on a good follow. Tied up. Turner. 3.30 to play. How? Down on the left side it goes to Martin. Martin back at Howell's in the game. Hits two three so far. Adkins drives into the lane, puts up the scoop left hand, and he is fouled. That foul's going to go on Turner. That's his first team second. Adkins will be at the line to shoot two. You know, Bryce dribbled that ball all the way around the key, end of the lane with his left hand and shot and with his left hand. And shot with his left hand, and he ended up going to the line to shoot two. Absolutely. Good fundamentals. As way as picture book fundamentals. Self Floyd's only there. had two fouls caught on him tonight, Pete, but both of them shooting fouls. The first one was uh, fouled a three-point shooter, and Nathan Martin made all three, and Adkins made him pay for two that time. 32 to 30 as Atkins made both of them in backcourt. South Floyd working against that pressure, gets to Dakota. Dakota fakes, drives her basket and scores. Good body control, good penetration. You give him daylight and give him his teammate light and he'll score every time. Hey, every time. He, uh, that's 15 on the night for him already. Pressure on uh, Atkins. Rice gets across the mid stripe, 242 to play, first half. And there he goes again around this man, left hand dribble down the left hand side of the lane with a left hand layup. And that's 14 for Bryce Atkins here in the first half. 2.30 to play, here's Dakota, Hall to Turner for three. That Turner knocks it down again from the left side. Hit one in the right corner a few minutes ago and he comes back to one from the left side. He can shoot it from all over the court, folks. And South Floyd takes the lead. And there's Nathan Martin driving in the lane, gives it out to Hal. Hal fakes, goes in the lane, all the way under, puts it up and scores. Good penetration that time by Adam Hal. Adam Hal's come off the bench his second quarter and put eight points in for Betsy Lane. Good offensive player. We got a whistle as Dakota Hall drives. That's going to be on Bryce Atkins, I think. So no bonuses yet? No, that's his second team okay. six. The next foul for Betsy Lane will put South Floyd in the bonus. 1.53 to go. 36-35, Betsy Lane on top. Dakota Hall for three, top of the key, missing. Rebound, it goes up and in a nice follow by number 32. That's light. Light, solve the light and put it in. That's six off the bench for West Light. West line, you know. And here's Atkins, Casey driving, uh, but he drove too hard and, and he didn't see uh, Marson standing there and he drove over top of him. That's two on Casey. That's seven team fouls, but there will be no shots as that was an offensive foul. Might have been a little acting job there too. What do you think? I, yeah. He might have lowered that shoulder a little bit. Well, I don't think he hit him that hard. Players like to help the Marshall's, out. Marshall's a pretty good sized boy. I don't think he hit him hard that hard. Do you think? I doubt it. <laughs> Turner for three in the corner, missing. And there's Bryce Atkins on the board. He streaks down the middle of the court, driving into the lane. Cut off that time. Gets it Adam Hal for easy three and wide open, missing. Casey, no, that's Stumbo in the game. Corey Stumbo. Off the bench gets an important rebound. And number 23, that would be Brandon Martian with the foul, his second team's third. I want to know something, Larry. Did you see all that light comment uh, from the Blues Brothers? I didn't, but they did see it, didn't they? They saw the light. They saw the light. Here's Adam Howe giving it up to Bryce. Bryce Atkins' jumper uh, misses everything, unusual for him. Coach Stumbo saves it back to Adam Howe for three. Boy, Good. Adam Howe's putting a show on. That's 11 points this quarter for we'll him. give a great assist to Coach Stumbo for that one, saving it from going out of bounds and getting it to Howe. Here's Dakota Hall in the corner. Newsom has a wide open three. Howe, oh, she's good. 
Wow, we got a shooting exhibition going on here at South Floyd High School. 40 to 39, and South Floyd takes the lead with one point. Here's Bryce Atkins out front. Adam Howes open for three again and missing from the right side. Rebounds fought for and it bounces around out of bounds off Betsy Lane. They rule that Nathan Martin hit it last. 27 seconds to go. Nice ball game, Larry. Yes, it is. Nice ball game. A lot yeah. of scoring, not much defense, but a lot of scoring up and down and some good shooting. Good shooting and a lot of nice penetration by the players. Going to that hoop hard. Here's Dakota Hall, 15 seconds to play the first half. Coach Barry Hall spreading the offense a little bit. Dakota's going to drive. It gives up in the corner of Newsom. High arching three, and he nails the nose. Wow, a rainbow three. That's two straight that boy hit. And I'm telling you, folks, it almost hit the ceiling in this gymnasium. It's third, 43 to 39 with South Floyd leading. What a comeback by the Raiders. It's a fine ball game, though. A lot of good shooting, as Larry said. A lot of hustle, a lot of up and down. Fine ball game, a very good ball game for spectators and for both coaches. We'll take his station. It's halftime here. South Floyd on top, 43 to 39, over top of Best Lane on the comeback this second quarter. We'll be back in a few minutes with the wrap up of the uh, first half, stats, and comments about this exciting basketball Floyd County Conference game. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. Now's your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearhart Broadband. Upgrade to the smoldering speed you need, up to one gig, and add plume adaptive Wi Fi to reach every corner of your home. Experience no lag gaming, your favorite music, web surfing, HD video streaming, and connect to the latest smart devices. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or click Gearhart Broadband for a great offer today. Not everyone gets this excited when they discover the joy of Gearheart TV. But it happens. It's kind of a thrill to see every channel in HD. Go back in time with Replay and Restart TV. Record to the cloud. And watch TV everywhere on any device with no set-top box. Your excitement may vary, but there's a lot to cheer about Gearheart TV. Available now. Visit MyGTV.com now to sign up. A game between Betsy Lane and uh, South Floyd uh, coming up in a few minutes. But first, uh, we want to talk a little bit about our good friend, Dr. Don Bevins, who has passed away and a longtime uh, professional worker there at the station uh, for the TV and the radio for years and years, Larry. I, I knew uh, Dr. Don very well. Uh, in fact, he started me out working for Gearheart Communications 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, when uh, when uh, Paul and, and PD and uh, Adam, them, they bought out uh, Buddy Smith here on Left Beaver Creek, and I've been doing uh, for Buddy Smith, McDowell, Wheelwright High School basketball games. And Dr. Don and the PD came and got me to, to work for them uh, at Wheelwright High and McDowell High School uh, basketball games. And then later they spread me out through the county and the region. So uh, Dr. Don was always an excellent person as well as a pure professional. I, I really love the guy. He, he was a great employee for Gearhart and uh, well-known, a very popular fella in all areas, a real kind, nice, uh, friendly, accommodating person. Yeah, and he had that unique uh, baritone voice on the uh, radio and TV, you know, when uh, you didn't have to be looking at it, just had to be listening to know who it was on there. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, he, he's one of the... Uh, Media icons in this area help, uh, just as you said, help build the uh, uh, radio station, the 104.9 uh, that, at Gearheart. You know, he helped them get that off the ground and uh, playing all the rock and roll music. I'd like to uh, let everyone know that uh, immediately following the, the game tonight, that uh, Adam and Jerry is going to be uh, having a tribute uh, to Dr. Don on the radio station. Uh, 1049, and that'll be going on to about one o'clock tonight, uh, playing some of the favorite music that Don had, and maybe playing some interviews. Got some surprises for him, so we'd like to encourage everyone to uh, stay tuned and listen in uh, to the tribute to Dr. Don, and also Eric C. Khan, I think, is having a concert maybe tomorrow night at the Betsy Lane Dome. 
Don't know exactly what time that starts uh, in uh, the honor of uh, Dr. Don Maven. So uh, we just like to send out all of our condolences to the family and uh, uh, everyone to keep them uh, in their thoughts. And we're starting the second half. South Floyd's got the ball, and here's Pete for play for play. Thanks, Larry, as Dakota Hall has the ball, and he throws it over to the left side uh, to his teammate. Uh, and uh, driven to the right side is Marson, the turner. Back to Marson, basically man-to-man -man defense now this half. Uh, trailing now before, here's Dakota Hall trying to penetrate, cut off. Here's the penetration into the lane, up, and uh, that was light missing. Rebound by Turner on the rebound, and he's found. I'd like to say this. I want to dedicate this game uh, to Dr. Don Bevins because uh, he's uh, going to be uh, sorely missed by all of us at the station, at Gearhart Communications, all the good work he did, all the friends he made, the good relationships, uh, and he really helped build that station to its popularity that it is today. So uh, Don was a... A great guy, and I, I personally want to dedicate this game to him because I know if he were here on the camera, he'd uh, have some kind of comments about the game, and we'd have something to say about it, and it'd be accurate, too. Yes, he would. Turner knocks down the second of two, 44-39. Best lane in the backcourt against Frazier. Down to Nathan Martin on the left wing. Bryce Atkins at the point. Here's Tackett back into the game. He weaves out front, goes over to the left corner, gets the pass. Back to Martin, the interchange, throws it over to the right wing to Atkins. He fakes, gives it to Newman at the foul line, and he sinks it for a two-pointer. Nice move of the basketball by Bessonade. They seem a little more energized starting this second half. Yeah, player. moving the ball a lot better, looking for that open man. Here's Dakota Hall, has it left wing, driving, loses it to light. Out front it goes to Martin. He fakes, goes into the lane, puts it up, miss, follows his own rebound, and miss shot and puts it up and in. I believe he's only a freshman, and he, it's the uh, principal's son. Sophomore. No. Sophomore. Yes. Here's Tackett out front. Bryce Atkins open for a three, missing, and uh, going to the floor is Turner, and he picks the ball up off the floor. That rebound bounced to him, and he's on his back. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you don't see too many rebounds on, on your back. Turner, the NBA long shot out front for a three-pointer. All law is dad, Brian Turner. Here we go. Betsy Lane in front court. Over to Bryce Atkins, tack it, tack it. To Casey Atkins drives the baseline. Scores for easy two. Uh, Turner is from a long line of Turners, which many of them play for me at McDowell, and I played against some of them at, <laughs> when I was at Martin, so they could all shoot the basketball, I'll tell you. Here's a long three again by Newsom. Rainbow shot misses this time. Tie up between Turner and Martin. Betsy Lane will get the ball. South, South Floyd got it to start the third quarter. 49-43. Uh, South Floyd has picked up a little bit here in the third quarter to a six-point lead. Betsy Lane has it in backcourt. Bryce Atkins to tack it. Tack it down to Bryce. Bryce drives, penetrates, gets it. Casey on the baseline in the lane back to Tackett. Tackett fakes. Gives it back outside. There's Bryce Atkins on the right wing moving ball really quickly. Martin almost throws it away, saved by Tackett. Martin driving in the lane, gives it to Casey Atkins. He drives, loses it. Picked up by Light. Light gives it to Marson. There's Turner, long three, NBA range, missing this time, rebounded by Newman. Newman, best lane gives it to Bryce Atkins. He drives. Casey Atkins, very fast-paced ball game. Here's Tackett driving through the lane. He saw an opening, but he took one step too many. And Colt Stumbo comes in the game for, well, Martin started out, but he's coming in for Casey Atkins. Here's uh, Newsom in front court, gives it. To Marson. Marson throws it away, trying to hit turn inside. Loose ball picked up by Coach Stumbo. Uh, we got an injured player. Looks like Turner's down. He limps up. He hit his head on the floor going after the ball. Referee uh, wisely called time. 
and it's Bessie Lane's ball. Tack it, backcourt, double team. Gives it to Atkins, Atkins driving. Down the right side, gives it to Nathan Martin, Nathan to Newman, Newman to Tack it. Tack it on the left side, swings it across court to Martin. High post to Newman for Martin, he misses on the jumper. There's Marson on the rebound at the 15 foot line. Bounce right back to his hand. Here's Marson driving, cut off by Newman. Both teams playing harder on defense this half. Yeah, have seen a little bit of defense, and there's a walk. I notice uh, Betsy Lane has cut off those penetrations to the basket by yeah. double teaming the ball out front. Right. And uh, Dakota Hall can't even drive right now as we got a whistle down the court. Uh, a shoelace untied by Dakota Hall. 4 7 to play in the third quarter, 49-43, and back court is Betsy Lane. Tackett gets it, drives into lane, gives it to Corey, to Stumbold, Coach Stumbold. Throws out to Atkins, fakes, drives in the lane, shot blocked by Turner, retrieved that time by Coach Stumbold, he puts it up and in. Good defense by Turner, but it just wasn't enough because Coach Stumbold saved it on the other side and scored. Newsom is double teamed on the left side. That's the foul's going to be on Coach Stumbo. That's going to be his first team second as he held on the drive. On the far sideline now, it'll be uh, South Floyd's ball. Marson inbounds it to Light. Light's top of the key. Turner's inside now. Here's Light driving, driving. Puts it up off of grass for two. Well, you don't see many players using the backboard anymore like that. You don't. That's what that's what it's there for. Sailing light sails the ball. He saw the light and stole it from Bryce Atkins from behind. Here's Dakota Hall. They swing around the turn for a long three way outside. What a beautiful shot. Almost out of bounds on the left side, at least the NBA range. And we've got a timeout on the court called by Betsy Lane. And it's South Floyd is red hot tonight. It's a full timeout. With that, we'll take it to the station. Be right back. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. Forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at just $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text. Add three gigabyte of data for only $29.99 a month. Six gigabyte of data, $39.99. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Only $89.99, which has 50 gigabytes of high speed data. All the features without the long term commitment. It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. And we're back, 3.09 to go in the third quarter as South Floyd has moved out to a nine-point lead, 54-45 over Betsy Lane as they've come out red hot in this uh, third quarter, hitting two threes. Betsy Lane has the ball, and here's Pete. Here's Tackett driving, gives it to Nathan Martin. He weaves into the lane, cut off, gives it back out side to Howes in the game. There's Bryce Atkins driving to the hoop, missing, rebounds his own shot, puts it up, missing again. Newman on the board. We got a whistle on the inside. I think that's a foul. Newman came away with another rebound. So that was two offensive rebounds by Betsy Lane. As they got on the boards, good. How How is the rebounding going so far? Larry, that foul, have... that, uh, just a minute, Pete. That, that foul was on Turner, number 33. Betsy Lane's got 16 rebounds. South Florida's got 14. Pretty well even. Well, here's Martin missing our ball, rebounded by uh, South Florida after that inbounds uh, play. Here's Marson in front court on the left side. Well covered by Martin, and we've got a, well, we got a tie-up. Going to have a foul called on Martin. That was close to a five-second count, Larry. I thought it was. That's what Coach Junior Newsom's a hauling for down here. That's Martin's first team's third. And besides that, I think that Marson might have drugged the uh, pivot foot before the foul. Here's Marson on the far sideline looking. 
Looking inbounds, it goes to Light. Light drives around the screen by Dakota Hall. Here's, he's still dribbling. He loses the ball. Picked up a Hal. Hal stole it from him, and he's in front court with it. Gives it outside to tack it now. That's Johnson, number 12. Number 12 is Johnson. Okay, 23, and nice, Bryce Atkins. I got him. You know who that was, didn't you? Absolutely. That's 16 tonight for Bryce. Marson trying to lob the high pass in to Turner over his head, out of bounds. Number five, Hal comes in now, replacing Tackett, and we've got a timeout to see. It's going to be a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here and go over his sponsor list again. State Representative W. Keith Hall, Intermountain Cable, Appalachian Wireless. Attorney Ira Branham, Hilton Sales and Rental, Craig Dameron Furniture, The Kitchen Center, Charlie Pinson Insurance, Pikeville College, Microtech Internet and Security. No sponsors will be on board with us for all of this 09-10 season. Good sponsors. We certainly appreciate them. And Larry, what do you think about those Wildcats, buddy? Well, I'm telling you, they're looking good. But now that game tomorrow, Pete, I think uh, it's one of them games I'm a little leery of. It. They've beat two ranked teams, and uh, I hope they don't go in there feeling too good about themselves. I'll tell you one thing. we got a coach who can recruit and who can coach, and he's got the material, and he's got them playing. They're young. They're going to improve a lot more in my book. Oh, yes, they'll get a lot better. That's a tough game tomorrow. There's Atkins driving, open, 10-foot jumper good, right of the lane. Boy, he'll take that all night, won't he? He sure will. Bryce has played a really good basketball game, solid all the way around. Good four games, good hustle on defense, offense. 18 points for him. Here's Marson driving, the clear out on the right side. He goes in for a layup. Double-team backcourt is Hal. Gets it over to Atkins. Atkins drives by uh, Newsom, and uh, he's called. Uh, I believe Newsom's going to be called for foul there, Larry. So that's going to be his first team second. That's only five fouls South Floyd's been called for for the game. What about that? And only five fouls this third quarter as hard as both teams are playing. Right, yeah. Here is uh, Atkins. Driving in the lane, cut off, gives it to Hal. Hal bounce pass, a great pass inside to Newman. He misses the layup, gets his own rebound, and we got a whistle. And I think that foul is going to go on Marson. Well, you talk about these two teams. Junior Newsom played for Betsy Lane. Boy, he was a really good basketball player in his day. Yes, he, he was. Former Bobcat. You're a former Bobcat, right? Yeah, I was. And Barry Hall's a former Daredevil. So we got a lot of competition going between these two schools. And there's uh, Johnson, Johnson for a three. Stephen Johnson. Does that make it about, uh, well, Betsy Lane's hit about as many threes as South Floyd, I think. Well, Betsy Lane's hit seven. South Floyd's hit seven. That's tied it up. Here's Newsom throwing it away. Martin intercepts, dribbles down court, and dunks it. What a steal by Nathan Martin. 56-54, narrows the lead to two points. Inside to Dakota Hall. He spins into the lane, puts it up, and he's fouled. And that foul's going to go on Bryce Atkins, and that's going to be three on him. And uh, that last foul for uh, South Floyd, uh, Pete, I thought it was Marson. They caught it on Turner, and that's three on Turner, so that couldn't be a big foul. Yeah, Turner's out of the game right now. Coach took him out. As Dakota Hall makes the first of two, 57-54. Betsy Lane's cut that nine-point lead down to two as Turner moves it, or Hall moves it back out to three, and now four as he drops both free throws in. Back to four-point lead. They had it uh, enjoyed at halftime. Betsy Lane moves it quickly down court. Newman high lost it in underneath to Martin. Martin tries to put it up and then misses on both of them. Rebound to Dakota Hall. Good effort by Martin, though. Dakota Hall fakes, drives the lane, puts it up, and uh, he's, he's finding that seam right now as he's bringing the ball down the court. 
And Betsy Lane's relaxed just a little bit, not getting back fast enough on him. Exactly. And he's and going to the basket now. And Pete, that was a big foul call right there. That was on Bryce Aikens. That's his fourth. Oh, boy. He's been Mr. Everything for Junior Newsom. Got 18 points tonight for Betsy Lane. Dakota Hall misses on the first of two. 25 seconds to play in the third quarter. Boy, we're going to have an old-fashioned barn burner tonight. I'm telling you, 25 seconds go in the third quarter, up four, South Floyd, chance to move it out to five. And they do, out to five, as C. Ollie used to say. You remember C. Ollie Robinson? Yep. We have an old-fashioned barn burner tonight. Here we go, Bates Lane to Newman. Newman to Howe, across the mid-stripe. Here's Tackett driving into the lane. Gives it to Martin. Martin, they're weaving out top, gives it to Howe. He drives in the lane. Jumper shot blocked by Butch Page's boy, Corey Page. Here's Newsom inside. It goes up and in. A beautiful pass to Page. Did that count? Yes, it did. Corey is the, uh, is the son of a former Daredevil player of mine, Butch Page. Played at McDowell. As and Byron. that's the end of the th of three quarters, 61-54, South Florida on top. So we'll send it to the station and be back for fourth quarter action. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. 154, the Raiders on top of the Bobcats and here's Pete. Thanks, Larry. As the South Florida's ball started the fourth quarter, leading by seven, there's Dakota Hall trying to drive. Cut off, Marson, long three, no good. Rebound inside, up and in. Who did that? I believe that was number 32, wasn't it? Light. Light. Lighter page one. I couldn't see for railing the... Uh, yeah, it was 32 light, and we got a foul here. Okay, That's, it's Nathan Martin the foul line. I couldn't see for this railing. It's, I tell you what, it, over here in Allen Central, I have to look underneath the railing and over top of railing. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Nathan Martin at the line. And the first one is good. <laughs> Folks, this game is far from over. Either team can win this ball game, believe me. Even though it's eight point lead, Bates Lane could come back. But the momentum has been with South Floyd this, uh, since the last part of the second quarter and the third quarter. It's 63-56, seven point lead for the Raiders. Here's Marson just walking across the mid stripe. Facing Martin, man-to-man -man defense for the Bobcats. Here's the Gold Hall getting up to Newsom. Good defense for Hal. Newsom drives on Hal, puts up the jumper, and scores. Hal was playing defense, that's just an excellent shot. Who was it made that one? Newsom. Newsom, okay. Newman loses the ball. Gives it down uh, to Hal. How to Martin, tack it in the game, top of the key, fakes, spin move, gets it to Newman, Newman drives in the lane, puts it up off the run, left hand beautiful shot by Newman on the run. South Floyd gets it into the Cota Hall, he's fouled from behind. That foul's going on number five, Adam Howe, it's his first team sixth. Next one be the bonus then. Only four on uh, South Floyd. They ain't had many, many fouls all night long. They, they sure have it. Uh, they only had three the first uh, half, four to second but half. Pennsylvania steals the ball from Dakota Hall, and Newman drives in with the left hand, tries 
to uh, bank it in, but he was fouled hard enough to uh, deplete his shot. That foul's going to be on number 23, Brandon Marson, his third team's field. Jordan Newman at the foul line, knocks down the first one. 65, that's, 58. That's nine tonight for Newman. If he makes this one, he'll be the fourth player in double figures for Betsy Lane, but he missed you it. Him. I mean, jinxed him. Right with a rebound, Dakota Hall driving, driving all the way up with a stroke shot. Beautiful move by Dakota Hall. That's 20 for Dakota Hall tonight. Here's Tackett, spin moving down the court, gives it over to Howe. Howe inside, it goes to Casey Atkins. Spin moved on the baseline for two. Nice move by Casey. Back court, full court pressure. Marson tries to drive down the sideline. We've got contact and a foul. That foul's gonna be on Newman. And that's gonna put uh, South Floyd at the line, shooting the one of one, 627 to go in the game. Turner returns for South Floyd, and Page takes the seat. And Page gave uh, two or three good minutes there for South Floyd. Yes, he did. Here is Marson on, oh, why wow, he got a bounce. Hit the flange on the back of the basket, bounced up against the backboard and in, so he gets the bonus. That's 12 free throws on the night for South Floyd. They're nine of 12. Betsy Lane's only shot five, made all five of them. Here's the next one, no good by Marson. Rebound by Betsy Lane's Martin. 68-61, seven point lead as uh, there's contact from behind by Light, but he's not, he knocks it out of bounds yeah, back to Betsy Lane. Yeah. Martin, inbound underneath his own basket, gives it to Newman, misses the easy one. A rebound on the other side by Casey Atkins has come alive with two baskets here in the last couple of minutes. Here's the steal on backcourt almost, saved by Light. Here's Dakota Hall driving down, loses the ball. Adam Howe has it to Martin, Martin for easy two. The pressure is beginning to show. And there's uh, almost another steal. It is another steal by Bessie Lane. Bessie Lane over to Newman, contact. And no basket by Mike Hall. Boy, fast and furious was Betsy Lane. Tenacious defense on that pressure at full court 2-2-1 two, two, was paying off for him. Almost paid off again there. It that did. Yeah. That was, that's fouls on Newman. That's his fourth. Team's Marshall. eighth, but there'd be no shots as it's a player control. Marson over to Newsom on rainbow three for three. For three. What a shot. That kid surely arches that ball high. In back hall, back court, there's a timeout. Yeah. Let's see what we got. It's going to be a 30 second, so we'll keep it right here. Well, they made a good uh, spurt there, Betsy Lane did, and then uh, that offensive foul hurt them, and this Newsom comes back and hits a big three. Well, that's what I was getting ready to say. You make a spurt, and you get it cut down, a nine-point lead cut down to three, and then the big equalizer, the three-point shot. Yeah. You get that three-point shot, and then you look up, and next thing you know, you're down six. Yeah. And that is, uh, that's eight three-pointers tonight for South Floyd. They like to shoot the threes. That's uh, Dakota Newsom has four of those eight himself. Turner's got the other four, so just between the two, they have the eight. Betsy Lane's got to recognize those two players behind that to arch and get out and put a little defense on them. They're going to have to the way they're shooting. Here's Tackett for Betsy Lane in front court. Newman weaves into the lane, cut off. Tries to give it to Casey Atkins, and he fumbles it out of bounds. South Floyd's ball. 14 turnovers tonight for Betsy Lane. South Floyd with 16. South Floyd facing full court pressure, gets it to Newsom. In back court, they throw it down to Turner. They find him open for three. He misses. 
Rebounded by Newman. Great job on the board tonight, Newman. Ekins has it, front court. Tack it, streaks through the middle, finds an opening in the lane, lays it in. Nice drive. Derek right, Tackett. Tackett's been driving and uh, dishing it off. They was looking for him to stop and dish that time. He just took it to the hole. He just went right ahead with it, didn't it? Nice drive by the sophomore. Here's Light. Southport leading before, four and a half minutes to play. Light driving around this man into the lane, and he's fouled. That foul's going to go on Casey Atkins. That's his fourth, team's ninth, but uh, Light will be at the line to shoot two, I think. I'm wondering if Light has seen the light or Coach Hall has seen the light. Well, I, I think uh, Light has uh, uh, shown the light to uh, Coach Hall and tell him he needs to be in there a little more. <laughs> he missed the first one. He's come off the bench with 10 points tonight. And he plays hard, doesn't he? He does. Second toss up and good. Missed the first one, 72-67. Five point lead, four and a half minutes to play here in the fourth quarter action at South Floyd High School. Terrific ball game for this early in the season. Well played, well coached. Boys are really getting 110%. Atkins, top of key, into, into low close to Newman, and Newman lays it in with a left hand. Nice play. Here's Dakota driving all the way to the hoop and scoops it up and misses an unusual, that's an unusual miss for Dakota. He's not missed very many of those tonight. That scoop shot has been terrific. Here's Tackett into uh, Casey Atkins and he's fouled in the lane. And that's gonna be number 33, Turner. That's his fourth. And team six, so the next foul, South Floyd to put Betsy Lane into the bonus. Nathan Martin inbound underneath his own basket, throws it out to Newman on the right wing. Out to Bryce Atkins, tack it. Back to Nathan Martin on the right wing, in the post it goes to Newman. Newman spins off the glass, great move. Well, uh, they've got Turner on Newman, so that was a smart play going right back in there, uh, Turner with the four fouls. That's right. Dakota Hall into Turner, lays it up and in. 74, 71, three and a half minutes to play. There's almost a steal from Tackett. He goes to the floor for the ball, throws it to Martin. Martin driving down the middle, gives it to Newman. Newman fakes, drives under, puts it up, and misses not. Martin on the rebound up and out. 74, 73. South Floyd with a one point lead and the ball in backcourt. Long pass down to Turner underneath. He goes up. Shot is blocked by Casey Atkins. Turner gets it. And puts it up and in on great hustle by Shannon Turner. He didn't quit on offense. Bryce Atkins for two had his foot on the line. <laughs> Boy, what a game. Nice basketball game. Here we go. Here's Henson driving through everybody and goes up for a layup and is fouled. That's going to be Martin with the foul. His second team's 10th. Marson will be at the line to shoot two. Betsy Lane on the comeback trail. Junior Newsom. Team uh, was down as down by nine. nine. Yeah. By nine. They're back within one, 247 to play. Marson's on the foul line, hits the first one. Are they the double bonus? Yes. Yeah. He, he was fouled on the, in the act of shooting. But it's still in the double bonus. But there, that was the 10th foul, so they'd be in the double bonus. Yeah. So that's going to be a full timeout. So we'll send it back to the station and take a break. You're listening to High School Basketball on WXKZ 105.3. Now's your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearhart Broadband. Upgrade to the smoldering speed you need, up to one gig, and add Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home. Experience no lag gaming, your favorite music, web surfing, HD video streaming, and connect to the latest smart devices. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or click Gearhart Broadband for a great offer today. Smile, girl. Act like you like each other. This is our Chicago. Stop! We're gonna enjoy every minute of it. You two, come in and what? Hey, wake up, brother. It is payback time. 
darkness bigger than the two of us now. You gotta decide for yourself who you gonna be. The Bellator K has landed! And we're back. 2.46 to go. South Florida on top, 77-75. Marson at the line to shoot the second of two, and here's Pete. Thanks, Larry, and Marson's set for event number two. Junior Newsom called timeout after his first one, and it rolls in and rolls out on him. Still two-point lead for South Florida. Here's come Betsy Lane with a chance to tie or take a lead with the three. Inside it goes to Casey Acton. He loses the ball, goes to the floor, throws it in the backcourt, and it has to be a turnover over and back. Yeah, that's 15 turnovers tonight for Betsy Lane. Now Casey made a great effort trying to save that. He he fell to the floor with the ball and then he tried to throw it back court to a teammate and he overthrew it. South Floyd's ball, Marson, far sideline gets it to Dakota Hall. Dakota with tacking all over him. Dakota driving, stops. Gives it back to Marson. Marson fakes, drives in the lane to Light. Light penetrates, puts it up off the glass, misses, rebounds his own shot, puts it up again, blocked by Casey Atkins in the air, and Casey comes down with it. Good defense by Casey. 2-11 to play. Here's Tackett. Newman back to Tackett. Setting up a play. Casey Atkins come out looking for Newman in the low block. They give it to him. He almost loses it, picks it up on the baseline. He saves it, shoots, and misses. Rebound by South Floyd's uh, Henson has it. Drives into the lane, puts it up, and he picked his dribble up one dribble too late, too early, and uh, he, he could have had another dribble wide open, but he was, that's a reach-in foul out there. Yeah, they got uh, Nathan Martin on the drive. That's his third. Brandon Marson on the foul line, double bonus. Well, we got a timeout on the court. And let's keep it here and talk about it right now, okay? All righty. A minute 45 to go. Uh, on the three-point uh, shots, South Floyd may be what? Uh, one ahead or be tied? It's uh, both, uh, see, South Floyd's got uh, eight, Betsy Lane was seven. Okay. Now on the rebounds, can you total them up? This game is so even. I've it's got unbelievable. That's what I wanted the fans Bet to hear. Betsy Lane, 24, and South Floyd's got 20. Okay. In the turnovers, South Floyd's got 16. Betsy Lane's got 15. On the scoreboard, they've got two points different. So yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's close all the way across the board. Yes, it is. That's what I wanted the fans to, to know, how even these two ball clubs are tonight. And uh, they have uh, players back from last year, just as in the girls' game. Seemed like, uh, you the, know, both. The big difference, Pete, is in the free throws. South Floyd has shot 17 free throws and made 11 of them. Betsy Lane, uh, on the other hand, has uh, only shot nine and made eight of those. They're eight of nine, but South Floyd has almost shot twice as many free throws as Betsy Lane. And when Marson gets through shooting these two here, they will have shot twice as many as Betsy Lane. So that's the difference in the ball game right now is the free throw line. Okay. So here's Marson ready for the first of a double bonus. Puts it up and scores. Second one coming up, three point lead. If he makes this, it'd be back to that four point lead at halftime. So both teams have played even up to this point if he makes it and he does. 79-75, four-point lead. South Floyd drops out of her pressure. Get it down quickly to Howes in the game. To Newman in the low block for two. Boy, they're feeding that Newman, hitting that soft belly of South Floyd's defense in the low block. That's nine points for Newman tonight in the fourth quarter. Here's uh, Dakota Hall travels with the ball. They hit him at the high. Uh, well, not the high post, but the top of the key, and he tried to drive, and he, for some reason, defense was already there. He didn't know the defense was there, and he tried. Another chance for Betsy Lane to tie it. They had it down to two points while ago, come up two trips empty. There's Adam Howe driving. Gives it to Martin. He penetrates, puts it up. No good. Ball kicked around, and Newman misses underneath the basket. There's a scramble. Newman picks it up, misses again. 
Ball's loose on the floor. Newman has it again, puts it up three times and misses. They're still fighting under the goal. I tell you, what a scramble. And it's a jump ball, and that'll go to Betsy Lane. Boy, you talk about a hot basketball. I thought a daggone football bounced crazy, but that basketball was bouncing all over the place and ended up Larry Newman was scrapping harder than anybody. I mean, Jordan Newman, he came away with it every time, but missed three Had under the goal. Had three under the goal, missed it. Here's Tackett, 57 seconds to play. How out front. They're looking inside. Turner has four fouls on him. Newman's trying to get position. Tackett gives it over to Martin. Martin looking inside for Newman. Gives it to him. On Turner, spins around, scores over top of Turner. He got Turner on his hip. Turn around, score, tied it up, 30 seconds to go. Marson gets it across the light, and Barry Hall says, boys, I want a timeout. He wisely calls a timeout with 31 seconds to go. That's surprising to me that uh, Betsy Lane stayed back in that full court pressure uh, after they tied it up. I thought maybe they'd stop back, drop back, and go into a half court uh, defense because if South Florida broke it and went in for a layup, you know, it's tied up, but South Floyd was forced to call the timeout, so they'll have it uh, side out in the backcourt, 31 seconds to go, so. I think what Junior was uh, counting on is South Floyd has made a few turnovers in backcourt, right. and they've uh, converted some baskets off from them, and uh, I think by tying the score, he, he may have thought that uh, Bates, uh, that South Floyd would be a little bit rattled. Right. Well, you know, I, I, I see your point there, but, you know, you're playing from behind, so you got to try to force those turnovers. That's true. When you get it tied up, you know, uh, uh, you know you'd think, well, you go back in half-court defense and, and uh, make them earn it from back there instead of giving them an easy one. Well, but that's, that's true, and, and, and they're in a double bonus, too. Yeah, that's right, exactly right. You're in double bonus, but... Uh, Worked out in Betsy Lane's favor so far as South Florida was forced to turn, uh, call a timeout. They'll have it, uh, as we said, in the side out the backcourt. 31 seconds to go, 79 79. Uh, folks, uh, I, I, we appreciate you listening in to us out there on uh, in Radio Land, but you're missing a good one by not being here. You certainly are. What a contest. It's a really end of season basketball game. Well played, well coached. Players it's a district hard. game, Pete. <laughs> it is. It is. That's, anytime you get these 58th district teams together, this is what you're going to get. Well, South Floyd seems to be holding the ball for the last shot. It's down to 18 seconds. Dakota's out front. Betsy Lane's playing real hard on defense. They better watch a foul. Dakota Hall out front gives it to Light. Light weaves across out front. <clears throat> Ooh. Ball is knocked out of bounds out of Marson's hand, so... Referee says it's back to South Floyd with five, five seconds six. to go. <clears throat> well, you need a timeout, Coach, and he does call the timeout. South Floyd. Now, I'll tell you, what I think here would be a good uh, strategy would uh, set Turner up below, make one pass, Inbounds outside, run Turner to the corner and hit him. Well, take, uh, take Turner, a three. You I got don't, Turner. I don't think. Uh, I don't think. Uh, I don't think uh, they got enough time for a good drive to the basket. A good right. drive. But well, you, you got to be trying to shut that off. You got Turner and Newsom both with four or three pointers, so they could uh, do just exactly like you said. Try to get Turner going to the bucket or get him in the bucket, and if the uh, Betsy Lane collapses on him. Dakota Hall could set up outside that three-point line, kick it out to him. He can knock it down. Well, that's true. But I think those one of those two players is going to take his shot. And Dakota Hall, is uh, he's had several drives to the bucket tonight. So you might see him taking it to the hole. Well, five seconds, I don't know. If, if they cut him off, he starts his drive and they cut him off, the game's over with. We've got two men on him. Marson taking it out of bounds on the far sideline. Got line. Turner setting up. He, here he comes to the corner. Hit, hit Turner. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> and we've got overtime, folks. Coach Barry Hall wanting a foul, and we uh, very well could have been one. The player's standing there with his arms up, though, and the referee's decided not to call it, so we'll send it to the station for a short break. It's overtime, 79-79, Bobcats and Raiders.
Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. Forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at just $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text. Add 3 gigabyte of data for only $29.99 a month. 6 gigabyte of data, $39.99. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Only $89.99, which has 50 gigabytes of high-speed data. All the features without the long-term commitment. It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. And we're back here at Raider Arena on the campus of South Floyd, and we're getting ready for overtime, folks. 79-79, these two teams has played even through four quarters, and we're going to have to have another one. We're going to have a four-minute overtime. And my buddy Pete here to let you know what's going on. Mike Hall turned it against Betsy Lane Newman, and uh, we got a whistle on the toss-up. I don't know what that's about. I don't know, unless somebody stepped in the yeah. uh, lane too quick. He wants another toss-up, Turner and Newman. Mike Hall, the referee, tosses it up. Tap goes to Dakota Hall. Here's Light driving. Newsom in the corner, can't shoot. Well guarded by Casey Atkins. Here's Light picking up his dribble, tack it all over him, tries to throw it across court, deflected, picked up by... And driving to the basket with a great shot. That's Marson. Marson. Boy, the young player just kept dribbling with his back to the defense, and he swirled, moved into the lane, put it up, uh, falling down and being fouled, and made it. And Derek Tackett with the foul. Marson will go to the line for the three-point attempt. Up and missing. Rebounded by Newman. Boy, Newman's played a well of the game this last half. You Boy, know, he has. In that inside in that post. Rice Atkins on left wing from Tackett. Tackett back outside. Inside high post to uh, Atkins. Inside low post to uh, Newman. Newman makes a spin move. And uh, he's found. <clears throat> Boy, they, Newman's getting great position there. He's keeping the defense behind him. And basically, he's doing a good job of feeding him in that low block. I didn't pick up who that foul was on. And knocking down the first one, 81 to 80 is Newman. That foul, foul was on Dakota Newsom. That's his, or excuse me, uh, was on, uh, yeah, Newsom. That's his second. Newman puts up the second one. It's good. 81 to 81. Oh, what a ball game. Here's uh, full court pressure, one, two, two by Betsy Lane over Dakota Hall. Dakota Hall picks his dribble up, gets it Marson. Marson drives in the lane, puts a scoop shot up for two. Nice move in there, got a great shot. Here's Tackett trying to answer. Gives it Newman, Newman drives in, left hand, <laughs> what a move by Jordan Newman to the hoop with a left hand semi hook shot off the backboard. 21 points for Jordan Newman. Marson, high pass into Turner. Turner loses it, out of bounds. It goes to Betsy Lane in backcourt. 2.49 to play, 83 all. High school games are um, regulated by a four-minute turnover, a uh, four-minute timeouts, not turnovers. I'm thinking about turnovers right now. Here's Betsy Lane. Bryce Atkins fakes, drives in the lane, puts it up, missing Turner on the rebound. A no call contact. That was a good call by referees, but not calling anything. Dakota drives in the lane, gives it to Turner. Turner drives under. Spin moves in the lane, puts it up and rolls. Oh, in. boy, it rolled God. everywhere, didn't it? It did, and it stood on the rim for a split second. It could have fallen off either way. In the basket or out, and it falls in the basket. 85 83, two minutes to play. Here's Tackett. Spin move, gets to Martin. Martin in the lane, puts it up on the run, missing. Rebound by Turner. He gets it to Marson to Dakota Hall. They've stopped Dakota from driving this half. Yeah, they have. 
Good strategy by Coach Junior Newsom. Right? Well, he had 15 at halftime. He's only scored five this second half. There he is. Sooner I say that, he drives through the hoop and misses. Rebound on the, on the rebound is Casey Atkins, and they're going to call Turner for over the back on the rebound. And that's going to be his field. <coughs> Well, Casey Atkins has played. He's played a good last half. This he didn't, uh, you know, he didn't play as well first half. And coach had to take him out. He's played a better last half. Well, he's half. got eight points for the game. He's had six of them this second half, but he's come away with a couple of blocks and several rebounds for the Bobcats. And some nice passes inside to uh, Newman from a high post to a low post. <clears throat> What have we got? Barry Hall talking to the official. Well, uh, Turner, he's fouled out, so Hall's going to take uh, all the time he gets to get 30 seconds for a substitution, and uh, he's, he's going to use it all. He's wanting to know why that was a foul. Well, Light comes back in for Turner, but uh, they lose a lot of size on that substitution. Well, not only that, they, they lose their leading scorer on the night with 24 points, Turner. Will Page is back in there. Who did he go in for? There's Atkins. Boy, that we well, rolled around, didn't he? That bounced everywhere and bounced in. <laughs> and Betsy Lane cuts it to one. 85, 84. Casey Atkins ready for the bonus. Missing. Rebound inside for Marsha. One point lead for the Raiders. Marson fakes, drives by Atkins, puts it up, no good. Casey Atkins. He's going to be called for the offensive foul. And the L, he's swinging his elbows with the rebound, and he caught, uh, who was that he caught? That's Marson. Marson. And that's going to be his field personal foul, and he's gone. Each team losing a player. Atkins have been a force in the middle, but he's not been the scorer that Turner is uh, was for South Floyd. Well, that's going to put Marson on the foul line for a double bonus. That's an offensive foul. It'd be, they just get it out of bounds. Oh, out of bounds? Yeah. Okay. Well, they were lining up out there. I, right. I thought they were going to shoot the foul shot. Yeah. Yeah, Marson was reaching in, trying to knock the ball away, and Atkins coming around with the elbow and knocking him off of him. It's always offensive foul. Here's the go to Hall. Take it in bounds underneath his own basket for the Raiders. Throws it way outside into the hands of Bryce Atkins. Bryce Atkins throws it across court for an easy two. Nathan Martin. One point lead for a Bobcats hadn't had a lead for a long time. Been, got a, it now. been a while. Dakota Hall driving, gives it underneath to Page. Page moves under, puts it up and in. Strong move by Corey Page that time. Pack it on the far side, breaks the pressure. In front court it goes for long. Johnson three. for three. Johnson hits it. Two point lead now. Less than a minute to play for Betsy Lane. A great three point shot by Johnson. Never hesitated, did he? Nope. Here's Marson, one-on-one -on, -one on Tackett. Driving to the hoop, spin moving in there. Puts it up off the glass for two. What a great move by Marson. He was picked up on inside after he spin moved by Tackett. And sort of a scoop shot over his head and got fouled too, and that ties it up. And that fouls on Nathan Martin, and he that's four on Martin. Marson at the line, 40 seconds going overtime. Marson could put the Raiders back on top by one. A pressure shot, it's up and off. Rebound fought for inside. And the ball goes to South Floyd on that missed foul shot by Marson with 37 seconds to go, 39, 37 seconds, 89, 89. South Floyd's ball underneath their own basket. And we've got a timeout by Betsy Lane, but I think it's a timeout. Mike Hall is calling a timeout, I think. Junior Newsom wants to talk to somebody. He's wanting to talk to the official that made that call. 
Looked like Martin had the rebound and knocked out of his ba uh, hands onto the baseline, and they called it, said that he reached back out and tipped it. Yeah, that's what Junior wants. He's talking to that official yeah. now, and the official says it's, it, it was last, uh, what, deflected or touched? What do you call that, referee? He, he, call, he called it uh, deflection. Okay. Martin had the rebound, and South Florida reached right. in and knocked it out, and they said Martin reached out and tipped it, tried to catch it before it went out of bounds. Okay. Good call. See, that's why I like to call ball games with you. I tell you what, you can keep these officials under control. Well, I don't know about under on. control. I can figure out what most of them's doing. They've spewed now, and I can't figure out what's going on. <laughs> you tried a lot of them yourself when you referee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, what a ball game. I tell you, we've been well treated tonight with this action. 37 seconds to go, tied up. South Floyd's ball underneath their own basket. What do you think? Well, I tell you what, if uh, what I think is if the rest of the district games in the 58th districts like this rest of the year, we're in for a heck of a season. Well, with South Floyd playing as well as they uh, have played tonight, uh, they're going to be uh, be a force in the district. Yeah. I, I look for them to get the ball to Marson. Uh, they, got Ag they got Adkins on him. Well, he's uh, had six points here in overtime. They got Adkins on him. Adkins got four fouls to try to get him out of the game, or if Tackett's on him, he just overpowers Tackett. Oh, what a play. What a play. Dakota Adam Hall. Play. Dakota almost steals the ball down court for Newman. Newman has it, 28 seconds. Long three by Johnson. And Johnson is fouled on a three-point attempt air ball. By Coy Page. By Page. So that John was a desperation shot, if I ever saw one, and somehow Page gets out there and fouls him. He was 25 feet from the basket. And Johnson will be at the line to shoot three. First one is good. 26 seconds to go, 91 to 90. This is the second one. This shot for Vertai. 26 seconds to play. A lot of pressure on any kid. And he misses it. Rebound goes to Page. He gives it to Dakota Hall. And we've got a foul. Yeah, going to be on Johnson. On Johnson, the foul shooter. And he fouls, I believe, Dakota Hall. I think that's who he's got. Well, now here's a lot of pressure. Here's a double bonus. Hall with 22 points on tonight, two in the overtime. He'll shoot two, his team up by one. If even if he makes both of them, it's still one possession game, Pete. Sure is. He misses it. They're talking to him now. Marshall goes out there to talk with him. 91 to 90. Dakota has, what, 20 points? He's something? got 22 tonight. 22. Played an excellent ball game. Great ball game. 91 to 90. Set. Here's the second one up, and it's off. Rebounded by Martin. One point lead. There's Johnson, throws it away. Trying to hit uh, Newman underneath. Streaking to the basket. And was that Johnson threw the ball? Yeah, that was Johnson throw it. Turnover. He hit the big three that gave him a shot at the game, and now into Marson, and Marson is immediately fouled by Tackett. Marson's foul shooting has been uh, rather good this last uh, quarter in overtime. Well, he's in the fourth quarter in overtime, he has shot uh, seven, and he's made four, four of seven. Okay. 14 Four seconds to go. Still could be only a one possession game, even if he makes both of them. Absolutely. Ready for the first one. Stays himself, bounces the ball once, twice, three times up with the first one. He rolls it in. He got the roll, hit the front of the rim, rolled it in the backboard, and banked in. You know, I like that word bank. We used to use it all the time when I played ball. You don't hear much of it now. And do you don't see very much of it. <laughs> don't see, they don't <laughs> use the backboard much, do they? No, they don't. Second one is good. Nothing but net. 93 to 90. Here comes Betsy Lane for the tie. Tack it out front. Martin takes the three and misses. 
The ball is tacked out of bounds by Newman with four seconds to go. 93 to 90, South Floyd on top. And we've got a timeout. By South Floyd. Four seconds. You better stand up. Yeah. Smile, girl. Act like you like each other. This is our Chicago. Stop! We're gonna enjoy every minute of it. You two come in or what? Hey, wake up, brother. It is payback time. It's bigger than the two of us, Tom. You gotta decide for yourself who you gonna be. Now's your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearhart Broadband. Upgrade to the smoldering speed you need, up to one gig, and add Plume adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home. Experience no lag gaming, your favorite music, web surfing, HD video streaming, and connect to the latest smart devices. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or click Gearhart Broadband for a great offer today. I'd intercept the pass. If they don't, then they have to foul. Exactly. There is the inbounds pass to the right uh, player. As Light got it in to Marson. Only one second went off the clock. Yeah, the foul's going to be on tech. <laughs> it is third. Double bonus. Marson Make only has to hit one of the two to That's right, and it's put over. this one in the win column. It's over. Coach Barry Hall has all four players off the foul line of his back back uh, on the other end of the court. And they should just stand there regardless of what happens. Marson hits. That's Ready the ball foul game foul. right there, folks. Four Nine. point lead, three seconds to go. 94-90. Here's Marson. Marson has really uh, come through since Turner fouled out. Great ball game by the guard. Thanks both of them. 95 to 90. Ball comes in. Bryce throws it up from the center line, and the game is over, the Floyd County Conference game. What a shootout and what a ball game. Boy, it's been very exciting, well played by both teams. It's a shame that one of the teams had to lose. It's such a fine bas basketball game. An old-fashioned barn burger, a real good shootout. Both teams shooting, playing well, hustling, fine. I tell you what, this is district tournament basketball here tonight. So with that, we'll take you to the station with South Floyd winning 95 to 90 over top of uh, Basin Ames Bobcats. This is your Intermountain Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. Forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at just $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text. Add 3 gigabyte of data for only $29.99 a month. 6 gigabyte of data, $39.99. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Only $89.99, which has 50 gigabytes of high-speed data. All the features without the long-term commitment. It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. All right, we're back here at South Floyd High School with the Raiders and the Bobcats playing one of the better games that I've seen for a long time in high school basketball in the in the Floyd County District. I'm telling you, it's district tournament time, really, the way they play tonight. And both teams played very well, well coached. They've tried so hard, 110% effort tonight. The shooting was just outstanding. It was terrific on both teams. And if they're so even, Stephen, I want you to to hear Larry uh, Cecil give you the stats, I tell you what, it's unbelievable how even both these teams played tonight. Yeah, it's definitely a tournament atmosphere here tonight, Pete, as South Floyd comes away with the big 95-90 victory in overtime 
over Betsy Lane. And first for Betsy Lane, they were led in scoring tonight by Jordan Newman. Newman had 21 points. He had 15 of those in the uh, fourth quarter and overtime. Well, he played uh, a great low block, didn't he? They did a good job in there. Well, they, and they started hand. feeding him, got it yeah. into him. Bryce Atkins, he had 20 points on the night. He had 14 of those in the first half. Nathan Martin finished with 16 points. He had 11 points from Adam Howe. All 11 of those come in the second quarter as uh, Howe come off the bench, hit three three-pointers in that quarter. They had nine points for Casey Atkins, had four for Derek Tackett, seven for Steven Johnson for a total of 90 points. Betts Lane hit eight three-pointers tonight. They were 12 of 16 from the foul line, had 16 turnovers, and had 31 rebounds. Over on the South Floyd side for the victorious South Floyd, they were led in scoring tonight by Shannon Turner with 24 points. Shannon fell out of the game uh, in overtime. Uh, Dakota Hall with 22 points, had 16 points from Brandon Marson, and Pete, uh, 14 of those 16 was in the fourth quarter in overtime as uh, Brandon picked his game up, as you said, after Turner fouled out. They had 14 points for uh, Dakota Newsom, had 11 points for Wes Light. Those were off the bench. I'm sure Coach uh, Barry Hall was glad to see him uh, get some contributions from the bench as Light came in, pitched in 11 points off the bench, six for Corey Page for a total of 95. South Floyd also had eight three-pointers. They had uh, 18 turnovers and they had 26 rebounds, so it's five rebounds difference. X, the three points all was the same as both teams hit eight. Two points difference in the uh, turnovers. The difference in the game was from the foul line as South Floyd hit 17 of 25. Betsy Lane hit 12 of 16. Five points difference. South Floyd scored from the foul line, five point victory. What about that? I'm telling you, what a difference it does make. Betsy Lane uh, fell behind in late in the second uh, quarter there with some three-point shooting by Turner and by Newsom, and they had uh, fell behind four points when they jumped out in front of the first quarter at halftime. So they came into the third and fourth quarters uh, sort of flat and a little bit down, and South Floyd streaked out to a nine-point lead. Right. But uh, JR put that pressure, the pressure, the full-court pressure started paying off for them, and they scored some baskets. Plus, they exploited uh, Newman underneath the uh, low block and with Turner with four fouls, and uh, they fed him, and, and they eked back into the game and actually got a one-point lead there in the fourth quarter. And uh, I thought uh, when Turner fouled out on the other end of the court, uh, Coach uh, Barry Hall gave the ball to Marson, and Marson played one-on-one -on -one basketball, penetrated to the basket, and got the job done there in the late in the fourth quarter and in the... Uh, overtime when Turner fouled out. I thought that was a good strategy by uh, by both coaches on how they utilize their key players, exploiting the weakness in the defense of the other team. Yeah, uh, Newsom or Coach Newsom uh, had his Betsy Lane Bobcats. They played uh, a good, strong game the second half in the paint. The first half, it was more or less up and down the floor uh, with Adkins and Newman, as you said. And when uh, Turner fouled out, as you said, they put the ball in Marson's hand. Adkins was on Marson for a while. He had four fouls, so they couldn't afford to uh, uh, lose him. Uh, Betsy Lane couldn't, and, they, and so they put Tackett over on him, and Marson just a little too strong for Tackett. He's a bigger kid than Tackett, and, and, and he started body. taking yeah. it to the hole. And, and, mm -hmm. and the big thing, not only did he get to the hole and get the fouls, he knocked his free throws down when he got a chance to make them. He certainly did. You know, I thought uh, Betsy Lane had the game on that three-pointer. Uh, by Johnson. Right, that put them up by two. Yeah. And uh, But uh, South Floyd, you got to credit them. They come back, hung in there tough, and come away with a big victory yeah. tonight. Is there, yeah. Their uh, record now uh, improves to two and two, and Betsy Lane now is on a two-game losing streak as they've, they dropped to three and two. And I thought a key basket for South Floyd there at overtime was one underneath by Page. They got the ball inside to him. Exactly. And he put it off the board, off the bench. He scored the two uh, critical points there. They brought him back to a tie, I believe, and, and then Marson sort of took over the rest of the game, I think, uh, you know, and uh, went to the foul line. And he, He's not real quick, but he controls his body good, and he, he controls the dribble and the ball. Right. 
if they don't uh, slap a ball away from him. He, well, he, he protects, protects it with it. his body. Yeah. He had 10 big points in overtime. That's, that's stepping up. And uh, he gets into the low block there, and he uh, keeps his body and the ball away from the bigger boys. So he, he shoots kind of a, a semi-hook or, you know, a right. swing shot of some kind. and gets fouled. Yep. So uh, that was the difference in the game. I, I, I'm real pleased to see both these teams play as well as they did tonight. Uh, it's indicative of the type of basketball that both teams are capable of playing. And uh, with Benson Lane and South Floyd stepping up like this, uh, you know, it's going to be up to Princeburg and Allen Central to try to match them. I think it's 58th district after watching this game tonight. It's wide open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ne never know about it, do you? Never know. We'd like to uh, invite everyone to uh, tune in uh, next week, Monday, at Johnson Central and Allen Central's girls game. Um, and then on Tuesday night, uh, we'll be at Shelby Valley between Pikeville and Shelby Valley. That game will be on WIFX Radio and Channel 5 Delayed. And also that night, we'll have Hurley at Phelps. So lots more basketball coming up uh, on the Intermountain Sports Network. So, Pete, uh, great game we've seen tonight. Enjoyed working with you. Uh, and I'm sure we'll be together many more times this year. Absolutely. I tell you, because... Uh, Ken Hall, I'm glad we got him calling us the A-team now, Darren, you know. But anyway, <laughs> well, we wish you all uh, a, a Merry Christmas. And coming up, it's uh, your time of the season. But keep going out to these basketball games to support your high school teams because these boys and girls really deserve the support. And we appreciate the sponsors that we have. And uh, they really help bring... Uh, uh, bring it to the fans and to the kids. They deserve all these opportunities to be on television and radio and the effort that all of them put out. So with that, for Larry Cecil and Darren on the uh, on the camera doing the great work at Dr. Don, I want to say uh, uh, we dedicate this game to Dr. Don. I yes, don't we know did. what uh, we could dedicate a better uh, game than this one than we did tonight. I Absolutely. Surely, surely miss him. And so uh, anyway, with that, we're going to wrap it up and say... Folks, you have a good night and a good weekend, and we're going to say once again that Larry and I will see you somewhere out there in that 15th region.